A very good morning children. Today we will learn a poem from your literature book on page 25. The poem's name is The Little Plant and this poem is written by Kate Lewis Brown. Children, you have to learn this poem by heart. So, before I start the poem, let me ask you something. Have you ever planted a seed and watched it grow? Okay. Number two. What did you do to help the seed grow? Okay. You might have put the seed into the soil and watered it every day. Isn't it? Let's read this poem about a little seed that grows into a plant. In the heart of a seed... Buried deep, so deep, a tiny plant lay fast asleep. Wake, said the sunshine, and creep to the light. Wake, said the voice, of the raindrops bright. The little plant heard, and it rose to see what, uh, what the wonderful outside world might be. I am, giving, I am going to explain the poem, so carefully listen. In the first stanza, the poet Case Lewis Brown is saying that in the center or middle part of the seed, which is buried deep in the ground or soil, there is a plant, a tiny plant, which is still sleeping and yet not ready to sprout. The second stanza tells about the important and essential elements from the environment that a seed needs in order to grow into a plant and that, and that is sunlight and water. So here we see that the sunlight asks the seed to wake up and slowly move towards the light. Then the rainwater gave him the final alarm by spreading water on it. In the third stanza, the little plant heard the sunshine and the raindrops. It showed that the nutrients from the sunlight and water had already penetrated or entered the seed. Hence, the seed is now ready to sprout. Finally, the seed grew up as a little plant and discovered the beautiful world. So children, I hope you have understood the poem well. Here are a few exercises which you have to mark it in the book itself. The first uh, exercise, put a tick against the sentences that are true and put a cross against those that are false. Number A, the seed was buried in the ground. Tick. There was a tiny plant in the seed. Tick. Now children, here few word meanings are given. Buried, hid in the ground, fast asleep, sleeping deeply, creep, move slowly. You have to by heart these word meanings. Now move on to the next page. Number C. The tiny plant was awake in the beginning of the poem cross. The tiny plant felt asleep at the end of the poem. Cross. Number two, the picture shows the needs of a plant. Circle the needs that you read about in the poem. So children, as I have circled, you also do the same. Do mark it in your book itself. Number three, number the pictures to match the order in the poem. Now you have to just write the numbers. 2, 1, 3, 5, 4. So in order it goes 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now these are few exercises which you will write in your notebook. That is your copy. Number 4. Read the lines and answer the questions given below them. The plant, the little plant heard and it rose to see what the wonderful outside world might be. 
the questions are written here you write the questions from the book and the answers i am giving you the first question is whose voices did the little plant hear answer is the little plant heard the voices of the sunshine and the raindrops number b what did the little plant do the little plant heard it rose to see the wonderful outside world number c which word rhymes with c the word b rhymes with the word c number 5 question number 5 what do you think the little plant saw in the wonderful outside world answer is the little plant saw the wonderful creations of god in the outside world children hope you complete the written work and when the school reopens i will check your copies thank you the little plant in the heart of a seed buried deep so deep a dear little plant lay fast asleep wake said the sunshine and creep to the light wake said the voice of the raindrops bright the little plant heart and it rose to see what the wonderful outside world might be dear parents i am mr julian peter in my last video of english literature i had given the class timetable of standard 2a and question answers of chapter 1 the magic porridge pot but unfortunately it was not clear so same once again please go